So why would you say, because I mean, you would think that there will be strength in numbers. You gave the example of yes. the local government chairman in Ogun State who yes. made so much noise yes. and ended up being removed. Yes. Not, one would have thought that assuming he had the support of his colleagues, yes. you know, they possibly would have been able to make headway. Why yes. do you think that the local government chairman are silent? Yeah, because they, they some, sometimes it benefits them. You know, when they when they give the money for salaries, they also settle them for their, what they call, a security vote and make sure they're taken care of so that they pacify them so that they don't raise it. And the most local government, I mean states, don't even conduct election. Lagos has been doing that. But in the eastern states, mostly they run what they call transitional council or committee. And so those guys don't have any, you know, uh, where would that? Or even the amount to ask governor, look, give so me my time. So that's an abuse. It's an abuse because the question guarantees that they should periodically go for election. It's there in the constitution, three, three years. Now, most states in the East, they don't do, there's no local government administration going on there. There's no democracy. There's no election. So they keep on appointing those people they feel are compliant. And so those guys can't question them. So any money that comes in, they give them, go and pay salary, they settle you with the security vote, and well, that's the end well. of the matter. And the people don't feel it. And, we and they don't side. speak up. And Nigerians don't speak out. We don't speak up. Uh, shouldn't, isn't this where the MBA, for instance, The should, MBA, should, should you know, come the, up. the point is that my brother is like everyone in this country is docile. If you speak out too much, people begin to look at you as somebody that is a dissident. That is the point. There are a lot of things going on that is wrong in this system that we need to correct and speak out. But people don't. But you guys are trying your don't best. Don't you need dissidents in this country? We do. We, right? In fact, I have been advocating for it. Unless you want to join me, I've been saying it that the system of this country is wrong. It's flawed. There is a fundamental thing that is wrong with this system. We need to restructure Nigeria. And that more comes sitting down and agreeing how we should govern this nation. Nigeria is not where we're being wrong. We're not running this country well. You know, the money comes in. The governor sees on this money, as I speak to you today. Now, a particular person now has asked a question. How money comes? How much comes in using the Freedom of Information Bill? And the governor says, you don't have any right to do that because they have not domesticated the law in that state. And that's one of the things you fight. Pass the Freedom of Information Bill. You don't allow the state to domesticate that law. And they're making sure that governors, you need to know how much they collect as security vote. You need to know how much comes into local government joint account. And then how much it is bought to those local governments. These are issues where Nigerians should be clamoring for. So that we can feel the impact of governance. We are not feeling anything at all. But then, if you look at the entire process now, even the local governments, a whole lot of Nigerians have been docile about this. Yes. Because if you look at the participation this Saturday, mm. the same thing happened in Niger State. Yes. He talked about the poor attendance. Yes. And he was kind of, I don't know if he was shocked, but yes. he, he came across as though he was. Mm -hmm. But compared to the other elections, the yes. governorship elections, the House of Representatives, the yes. Senate, yes. Uh, the presidency, yes. the elections are different. Yes. So what is it that we're missing? Our we're, we're missing, Why we're missing is that? We're, something that, you know, that goes on, like Lagos, I don't know how many will come out on, 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 on Saturday, because people have, have, now, have not felt anything with that, with that aspect of their government, so they're not interested, because it's, it, go and vote for who? The local government chairman, most of them that come here, they are very fat. They look very, very, you see their tummy and all that. They feel fat. You know why? Because they are settled and they cannot. Now, Lagos State is even peculiar in the sense that you have 37 LCDs and you have 20 local government. The funding that is coming is coming only for 20. Now, the state governor may be giving to all those LCDs and all that. Look, you know, all the money that comes cannot be given to you. Even though it belongs to you, like Ikeja now, you have some other AC that is created out of Ikeja. So the man, at, you know, naturally will not give with Ikeja what, you know, belongs to Ikeja. He will tell you that there are other areas that has to be settled and all that. And you know that you can't question them. But but the Jeremy, question, you can, yeah, yes, but, but the idea. question now will yes. be, if you cannot question, uh, if you do not exactly have the, the ch local government chairman doesn't exactly have the power to do anything yes. because his hands are tied, doesn't yes. have the funding, yes. why would I, as a person, as yes. a member of the electorate, want to yes. come out and waste my vote? As Beautiful. It, as as it will seem for someone that doesn't exactly have the power to influence my I life. I agree with you. That's the attitude. You know, there was time I went home and asked the, the TC or whatever they call him in my state. I said, "Do you get the money that comes all the way from Abuja?" He said, "He can't ask that. He can't answer that question." <laughs> Why not? Because he, 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 he's afraid to even, tell me. The even truth. if he was off the camera. Yes. Off even the if I said, "Please, can you tell me? Do you get?" He said, "He can't answer that question." He's appointed by the governor. Then that was when it, you know, Ojiz Okano was it, isn't it? So he can't answer that question. And then the information we got, you know, from the listen is that the money doesn't get to them. The correct money does not get to them. And they cannot raise alarm. They cannot even give you the information as an electorate so that you can even raise the alarm. Well, I remember during the vote. <laughs> but they signed, at the end of the month, they signed that they received the total amount. They make them to sign. Well, if it is 20 million, you sign, you receive 20 million. Let, let's quickly talk about this particular <laughs> election. Uh, I remember the last elections, uh, general elections, you were with us uh, yes. most of the time in, yes. our, in our live studios. Uh, uh, You've had less yet, mm -hmm. and the style of voting or the pattern that with which they'll conduct this particular mm -hmm. election on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, 
quite different from what we saw in April this year, which most people have adjudged the best to say, mm -hmm. well, you have to do some attendance, accreditation, and voting process. Yes. What do you have to say about that? Uh, try to draw some kind of comparison to what uh, happened in April of this year. Yeah, the, 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 I have not looked at the, the parameter for the, this election. I don't know whether it is the same with 2011 April election, general election. I don't know what Lagos State uh, Independent Electoral right, Commission is like yes. saying that, uh, well, you do your accreditation yes. and voting simultaneously. Oh, at the same time, there may be a problem with that because the one we did with April, remember? You do accreditation, you go home, then you come back, and then by that time, the number has been taken as how many people will vote and all that. To me, it looks a bit uh, better than this issue of you accredit and at the same time vote. That may be a problem. But let's see what goes on on Saturday. But I think the man should have stick to what has been practiced and where people now have even adjudged it to be the best. But from the point of law, yes. does he have a right to just go ahead with this is how we want to conduct it? No, no, no. The mode, no, the mode, the mode is, is, in the, you know, is left in the hands of the, 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 the umpire, of course. He determines which method and all that. The law allows him to do that. Uh, it has nothing you know, wrong with so that. But it must, the fairness must be also, must be imperative. The issue of being fair. You know, the problem with this issue of all these state independent is they are appointed by the political party in power in the state. You know, people are arguing that it should be separated, you know, and probably a creation of the constitution so that there will be an independent body that should appoint them. Because most times you don't see any political party in power in the state losing the local government election. Well, it's almost it's like always like, you know, they all it's win. It's it's and they win landslide. And, that would, and in Lagos, it was always that the PDP shot themselves in the leg, you know, by, abs you know, abstaining from election, you know, previously. But now they have gone back to their sense and said, we shouldn't allow this to happen. Because Nigeria is also agitating for a change. In some of the local government, where the, 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 the local government chairman have not performed, people are yearning for a change. So there should be fairness and equity so that people will go out and their vote should count. People should defend their vote also this time around. Also guide their vote the way we did in April. It's well, important. It should be interesting to see how it works. Are people going to think democratically if yes. they say, okay, well, let's get some change at the local level mm. or continue with the status quo ante, uh, ante. as you lawyers But you guys, you guys also, <laughs> is doing, you are doing a good job by, you know, emphasizing and, you know, calling people on this local government election that is coming up on Saturday, sensitizing Nigeria so that they can come out, mobilizing them. Let us, let us begin to change things in this nation. Things are not good. The fundamentals are not there. And we must change this country for our, because for the future of our children, for our own time, even for our own time. We should not be a wasted generation. We should not be we should not waste our own generation. Because if, the, Nigeria is wasting our generation. if the Ministry of Finance mm. publishes the accounts of all of these people, Beautiful. if the hills of Nigeria to so just go there and, and ask begin questions to ask questions and because of freedom of information be does that money get to the local government? That's what they, they have done that by publishing every month. This is the how much gets to your local government council. So you now go behind. Does he get to you, Chairman? And if the man does not answer, then we must hold him hostage to tell us whether he gets to you.